Um, so my name is Kristen and I'm the site director here in Broomfield for Nightlights. I've been at Discovery for about two years and I've been the site director for about a year and a half. So Nightlights provides respite care to families that have kids with special needs. And what's unique about it is not only do they, you know, provide the one-on-one -on -one attention to these children with special needs, um, Nightlights also pairs volunteers one-on-one -on -one with their siblings so that they also get the attention and, you know, the benefits of the program since they often get overlooked. And then the parents, the caregivers, they end up, you know, getting away for a little bit for a couple hours on a Friday night and uh, it really prevents burnout and just helps them, you know, deal with some of the stress and the challenges that come along with uh, raising kids in general and kids with special needs. So. Yeah, so solidarity comes across in a lot of different ways with nightlights. Um, on the team level, we all are, you know, we have our specific roles, but we're also willing to take on something for another team member if needed. So we all kind of share responsibilities in a sense. And uh, I also have regular conversations with the Nightlights founder. And I feel like I'm truly partnering with her, which is really nice and uh, just really empowering as well so that I can really do my best with our site. And as far as the parents and the families, we're there for them as much as we can. Um, I feel like we're in it with them during COVID. You know, there's so many challenges and it's kind of a one big experiment. You know, how can we, how can we help them? How can we serve them in a way, in a unique way that's not providing respite care? So we've had some virtual events. We've sent them some goodies and, you know, just little things that we can do to show them that we're thinking about them and that we're in it with them rather than being on the outside looking in. So dignity is something that, you know, I feel like people all should be treated with respect. You know, everybody has, you know, strengths and weaknesses and there's different kinds of intelligences. And um, so with Nightlight specifically, I feel like we really do try to you know, reinforce that in, in terms of just making sure that all the activities we have, all the, you know, even the rooms are designed so that they're accessible for anybody mm -hmm. and that there's just a variety of things that literally anybody can participate in and um, feel like, feel like they're just another, you know, another kid hanging out, having a good time. We also, I guess another aspect of that is that we do give the siblings that one-on-one -on -one attention because it's not, you know, it's not all about one person. It's about the whole family unit and how we can serve them, you know, from the caretakers to the children with special needs to the siblings. And so they're all integral pieces of the puzzle. And I feel like, you know, we, we don't value one more than the other. We, we try to give them all what they need. So just, you know, giving that attention to a child or a sibling at a Nightlights event is huge. Sometimes that's all they need is just to be acknowledged and to have, you know, that little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with somebody can make a huge difference, um, especially, especially I think once we are able to launch and we get out of you know, being stuck at home and all the Zoom meetings, I think more than ever is going to have a huge impact on these families um, because they've been, they'll be without that for so long. Um, and also, I just think that, you know, don't downplay the impact that you can have. I mean, one person, if you help one person, that's, that's enough, you know? So I, I think don't let that stop you. If it's one one event or one person, like in God's eyes, that's enough.